Look, um, one of the problems with the river is that any time around here where the flows get low and there's a um, period of no flow, the river is very rich in nutrients and uh, you get this massive um, covering of weeds on the surface. And we've got a few weeds here like this fella, this Salvinia molesta. Now this is a weed of national significance. Uh, it's here in the river already. I think um, the other major problem that we're going to have here is water hyacinth. All the dams around here are covered in water hyacinth. And um, so anywhere where you get a period of no flow, and certainly when the dam's in, there'll be no flow at all through most of that surface. The whole surface of it will be covered with this sort of vegetation. And being such a shallow dam, um, there'll be huge areas of land covered in this sort of vegetation here which is sort of really ideal conditions for cane toads and mosquitoes and um, all the disease problems that comes with, you know, uh, the mosquito loads. And then you've got the problem that if you try and control this sort of stuff, you've got a huge mass of organic matter that rots down and just rips all the oxygen out of the water as it rots down. And um, that just basically kills anything in the pondage, you know. Um, that can't survive at those low levels of oxygen. And we already see fish kills like this, up dams like the Paradise Dams had massive fish kills. And um, I think we'll see that on a much bigger scale with this sort of weed infestation. And then the problems that come when you try and control that with low oxygen, um, it's already here. Anywhere this river slows down and there's low flow, this is what you get. The whole dam will be like this.